Aside from recording YouTube and filming content for my own channel that is West Ham based, I've had quite a busy last few weeks. You may not know this, but since I moved to the Metro Vancouver area, I've been looking to get a job here. Aside from doing YouTube, I've been mass applying for jobs and finally I've obtained employment. Now that the pressure to kind of get a job is off and I have a little bit more time to do more things, I'm going to start recording a few more van vlogs in which I record and film my outings and explorations within this city. I'm here at Deer Lake Park in Burnaby, around a nine minute drive from where I'm currently living. I'm going to be showing you this area and we're going to be going on a walk. The weather's getting a lot warmer, so I expect this place to have a bit more activity at a lot later date. But as it is right now, it's quite quiet. There's a few people around. I'm going to go and show you what's around here and tell you why this is a good place to walk around as well. So this is the start of the trail. There are quite a few different routes that you can take. I'll take whatever one and wherever I go. Just follow the path, I suppose. But there are multiple trails that you can take, as I say. And um, as you're walking, you're surrounded by this huge body of water. I'd just like to point a few things out, actually, before I start this very quickly. So here you have... Deer Lake. And you see the skyscrapers in the distance? That's the metro town area of Burnaby. That's where Metropolis at Metro Town is located, which is Canada's second largest mall. I might do a video in there one day. And it's also the location of a more central part of Burnaby. If you listen carefully enough, you can hear birds. Different varieties of birds as well. I'm not sure if it's picking it up on my camera microphone, though. Can't see any, though. Guess I've got to look a little bit harder. Suppose uh, that's the evidence of bird activity. You can see bird huts there. There may even be woodpeckers here, from what I can tell. Not 100% sure, though. For those who've never seen one before, this is a Canadian goose. Notable for its black necks and grey feathers. Within this area, there's a police station, a museum, and a restaurant. It looks like a... It's over here. It looks like a mock Tudor house. When I first saw this, I thought that I was actually in somewhere in the north of England, actually. It looks like a 16th, maybe even 15th century style house. And I never thought I'd see that in Canada. So I could either go down there... I'll keep going on this um, track. I think I'll keep going on here. Just stick to the path, I suppose. Just found this map. Gives me an idea of where I'm going. So say as I'm here, there's a beach around here, which I might try and find, and the dock as well. The museum's up here, which I spoke about, and there's actually a, I guess, an outdoor pavilion for concerts too. But look at the area. This is actually a bigger area than what it looks like on the map. Come out onto the main road here. I'm just heading up this street. I think if I keep on going up this way, I'll probably get onto another track. Don't know what's down here though. I'm not sure where it's going to take me. But if you look down here, you can see the stream. It's quite nice, actually. There are even people's houses inside this area. Um, I wonder how much these are going to cost, actually. And I'm sure if you are looking to buy a house in this area, you're probably going to have to accept that people are going to be walking past it quite a lot, or even accidentally treading into your private garden. Having said that, the housing prices in Vancouver tend to be notoriously high. We're talking in the millions in some parts and even getting the mortgage can be quite a difficult thing to do. Let's keep on going this way. You tend to find boats and kayaks on here, 
when the weather gets a little bit warmer. Over there in the distance, it looks like a wildlife hide. So if that is what it is, I might try and go in it. But my plan is to walk all along this stretch and back round to there. There's a main park just behind me. I've seen a couple of people walking about, but it doesn't seem too busy right now. Maybe it's just because of the time of the day. And again, it's not incredibly warm today. So it probably is the reason why it's quite empty right now. But it has a few nice trees. It has a few willow trees. Uh, looks very neat and tidy. And one thing I must point out is that the city of Burnaby's council is a big stickler for protecting local flora and fauna. There are a lot of conservation projects ongoing within these urban parks, mainly to protect local wildlife. Um, there are parts of the lake and even some parts of that stream that I showed you that are shut off to animals and humans, or any other people or species for that matter, all to try and protect the area. This is because if any damage or any infections or illnesses occur within the flora and fauna, it can cost a significantly large amount of money to correct it. That's why some provinces in Canada don't allow you to bring wood with bark in with you to stop the prevention, well, to prevent rather, Dutch elm disease and other pests from getting in. Within cities like Vancouver, that rule is no real exception. Speaking of animals, I'd just like to point out a couple of things. You would find these animals in an urban setting here in Canada, yet you wouldn't find these in the UK as such. Um, coyotes, as they're pronounced in Canada, that's a coyote for those in America. And surprisingly enough, bears, that's a surprise, are found within some urban areas. You tend to find bears if you're going into rural tourist towns such as Jasper and Banff. I'm not too sure the validity of that in somewhere like Burnaby. Maybe they just got to put it there by law. Coyotes, though, can be quite a problem because they're about the size of a small dog. They can be quite vicious during mating season and they have been known to attack animals, including pets. If you encounter them, you just got to give them the space and don't try to uh, shoo them away because they will respond if they are provoked. Respond being attack you. And if that does happen, seek medical attention immediately, whatever you do, because whatever part of you they bite, you don't want it to get infected or even swollen or have any other injuries to you. I wonder if we're going to see any of these today. Um, if we see a bear in this video, then... It might be the end of From the Anvil, just saying. You can hear the Canadian geese. I'm going to show you them right now. I think these are two males fighting. Yeah, they're really going at it. Either they're fighting or mating. And if they're mating, I do apologise for filming it and showing it. It's quite a nice house there. It's got swings and a little outdoor pavilion on it. So I want to show you this though, I mentioned coyotes earlier and um, there are signs to warn about them. As I said before, pet safety is a big one. Uh, leash dogs and supervise them closely. You're not supposed to have them running around here anyway. You're not supposed to feed them obviously. And one way that I did forget to mention of threatening them to come near you is to make a lot of noise. It doesn't work for a bear, but I would probably yell something else than go away, Coyote. I just can't put it on the video because I've got to keep this PG-13. Stand your ground and don't run. If you run, it will come after you. And again, keep children close by. Because Coyote sees them as dinner. For some reason, this little pot's making me think of being in a gardening centre back in the UK. You tend to have these like overpasses in them, don't you? Maybe I'm in like a bit more of a natural part of this area. Look, place for birds over here. Someone's garden there. Just keep on walking, I guess. This takes me out onto a road and I think I'm gonna turn left here. And that's gonna take me down a little bit closer towards the waterfront. Just come down this quite steep part 
Little did I know that that's actually a road that leads on to houses. There are driveways to people's houses within this part. Would be quite a nice place to live this actually. A little bit of peace and quiet within a city. I wouldn't mind living in one of these, but then again, I don't have enough furniture for a house. Perfect place to own a dog though, or even have pets. Could take them into local woods around here, I guess. But like when I say, the coyotes are out, keep them on a leash. The bear somehow gives me major Teletubby vibes. You know that episode with the bear that made everyone scared? Of my generation anyway, of my age group. Same real thing with the coyotes. Don't feed the bears and uh, don't run if you see one because they can run. I'm not sure how legitimate this is. I haven't personally known of bear activity in this area, but better safe than sorry, I guess. I'm quite close to a main road now. Didn't realize that. I'm not going onto the road though. I'm gonna keep walking down here. I think I'm getting closer to a few more little bits. There might be a few places to watch the birds down here. I have to be really honest with you. I don't know where I am right now. Next time I find a map, I'll get a bit of a better idea of my bearings. All I know is that I'm still near the water and I can see it right now. It's slap bang in front of me. But where am I going? We shall find out, I suppose. If I get lost, I'll just use the maps on my phone. But that's last resort though. This area is a wetland, I suppose. It's quite boggy and very damp. A lot of aquatic plants as well. Not sure where I'm going, actually. Apparently, according to this sign, there are owls in the area. Let me go and take a look at this sign. Oh, and I kind of was right. It's a biofiltration pond. It's a management strategy to improve the water quality of Deer Lake. And there are barn owls in this area. Fascinated by how they can turn the head 360 degrees, actually. You have to stay quite a distance from them because they do get scared. Yeah, it's quite a pretty looking owl, actually. I think if I go back down here, though, I'm not going back onto the main path. Because I think I'm going off track slightly, and in fact, I'm actually closer to Metro Town, you can see the skyscrapers there, than I am my own car. Which is kind of worrying. Need to get back to where I was. 10 minutes later and I'm back on track to where I need to be. Um, was not a bad little loop that? It was actually kind of interesting. Uh, I found out about the project they have to preserve the water quality through plants. Um, yeah, wasn't expecting that. And also, I'm now coming back around. Got the water still here, finally back out seeing that. This is going to be the indication as to whether I'm on the right path or not. If I can see the waterfront, I know I'm good. We'll keep on going down here. About halfway around the perimeter of this lake. And walking back towards the car park now. bit of saving grace I found another map now I've got a better idea where I am so I'm here and I'm gonna keep going around here to get back to the car park not too long to go now I can see an archway coming up this might lead into another part of this trail it might be a very specific part designated for something gonna go under it looks interesting seems to be part of a construction project Something's going on here, but it doesn't start until next month. So this is going to be shut off, I suppose, and 
the trail is going to be closed. There are a few signs back there warning that it's facing some kind of closure. So I guess I've come at a good time because otherwise this would have been shut off and I'd have had to walk back around to get my car. Not that the walk bothers me. This is pretty nice yet again. Some cycling trails and I suppose you can get emergency vehicles through here. Oh, correction. You can get actual cars through here. According to that sign. There's a driveway, takes you up to a house and looks quite nice, just past those trees. That looks pretty nice. Yeah, again, another very scenic location. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these are used for Airbnbs and they probably charge quite a hefty price per night. Some B&B Airbnbs here, you're looking at 300 to 400 dollars a night. Again, this demonstrates the absurdity of the prices of housing and accommodations within Vancouver. I'm actually realised I'm just walking on the exactly the wrong track because look, this is the pavement. And that's for the vehicles. I think I'm about to approach an observation deck or some kind of bird watching hide. Certainly looks like one. Let's go and have a look inside if it is what I think it is. It could be someone's house though. I can't be too sure. Oh, it's someone's house. That is a very nicely designed house though. That's definitely an Airbnb judging by the size of it. Whoa. I'd love to stay in that if I get enough money. Who knows? Perfect place if you want to have a weekend getaway in the city though. You don't have to book an expensive hotel. Just book somewhere by this lake or many other parts of Burnaby or even the Metro Vancouver area in general. I get back onto a main street if I keep going up this way. So I'm gonna go down here. Another map shows me that the car park is just around the corner. So I have one last little stretch to do. This is a place for boat rentals. You can see them here. You can take these out on the lake with you. And down here, you can see people fishing. And this is the final shot. This is as close as I will get to the water. I'm not gonna dip my toes in though, it's still a little bit too cold. But that was Deer Lake, um, a nice little walk. A lot of families and children about, a lot of people jogging, so it's a great open space to go. It's within a 10 minute car or public transit ride from Brentwood or Metrotown. It has a lot of urban conservation projects, which will interest those who are into urban planning and environmentalism. It has a lot of wildlife as well, local to the area, and it's very peaceful as well. I enjoyed my time around here. I think I found my new favorite walking spot here in Burnaby, although there are others, there's Burnaby Mountain, Burnaby Lake, some of those might feature on this channel. I'll get onto those at a little bit of a later date, but I've enjoyed this walk and yeah, recommend coming back here for sure. Thank you very much for watching everybody. Take care. I'm off out to run some daily errands.